Another clone action, but this is by a brand called Amir, and this particular fragrance is called Wild Tobacco. I think, I think it's supposed to be a clone of Red Tobacco by Mancera, but we shall check it out. I just took the cellophane wrapper, so let's see if it's any good. Let's roll my motherfucking business so I can put you on to Amir's Red Tobacco. Sounds like a kid I went to school with. Listen, one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Amir's Wild. Well, I don't know why I called it Red Tobacco. Probably because subliminally it's supposed to be a clone of Red Tobacco. Or at least that's what I heard. Well, this actually has surprisingly the notes written right in front, so let's just knock that out of the park. Cinnamon Oud, Saffron Incense, Nutmeg, Green Apple, Pear, Patchouli, Jasmine, Tobacco, Vanilla, Amber, Sandalwood, White Musk, and Vetiver. All right, so let's check this joint out. Let's unbox this joint. The box came a little beat to shit. Not gonna lie, this was an Amazon purchase and it looks like it went through the ringer. So let's take the bottle out. Eee, what the hell is that? What is that? Oh, chill, hold up. Something's on that, but I'm not touching that shit. Hold up. Hold up. <sighs> is that dust? I, that's dust or, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, no, I don't trust this shit. I don't know, this, this is anthrax or whatever. Dust, I think it's dust. Look how must and dust this shit is. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but can you guys see the layers of dust and shit on this thing? It's all over the air. Nah, I gotta clean this, hold on. I had to legit power wash this stupid thing. That shit was caked on. So this must have been sitting forever and a day. Still has shit on it too. Uh, so I hope it's macerated at this point, but we shall see what this scent profile is like. Still got some water on it, but whatever. As long as I don't got some crusty ass dust, we'll see. Amir Wild Tobacco. Yeah, it's definitely red tobacco. Yeah, it's a pretty good interpretation actually of red tobacco. It smells very close actually. I'm gonna pull red tobacco out for sure to do the side by side comparison, but. So Amir I believe is under that, what is it, Paris Corner or something like that brand? A really good interpretation of red tobacco. Wow, let me pull out red tobacco. I mean, clearly it took some inspiration. I'm gonna do the side by side, but so far it actually smells pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's pretty fucking close. Let's see, let's do a side by side. I mean, red tobacco isn't that expensive, to be honest with you. It's in, I think it's a hundred bucks, 125 bucks if you shop it around in the gray market. But comparatively speaking, I mean, it's 40 bucks. So you're still saving a decent amount of money. Let me just smell red tobacco real quick. I mean, it's fairly close. Definitely the oodiness on red tobacco, the OG, the original version, is a lot more potent and a lot stronger, especially smelling them side by side. However, very comparable, very comparable. Like like comparable enough to save at least 60 bucks? Yeah, actually. Let me try it on skin. Hopefully I don't get herpes or some wild shit. I'm gonna do one spray here, and I'll do red tobacco on the other side, one spray as well. Let me give them time to dry out, and then I'll let you know. On this hand with the red string is the clone, and then this is the original. Original still there holding Mancera strong. It's freaking beautiful. All right, now the clone. A little faint. Definitely does not have the performance of my skin. Just one single spray of the Mancera. But scent profile wise, I wanna say it's about 72% close, which is almost how much money you're gonna save buying the cheaper version. Yeah, I give it around 72% close. It's a decent alternative. Actually, I don't mind it. It's pretty good. Other than the fact that it came dusty with like factory semen on it, Amir Wild and Tobacco from Paris Corner is not a bad alternative to red tobacco. I personally think that red tobacco is cheap enough that you should just go for that one. But if you're really tight on a budget, which I mean, I am this week, this is a very comparable alternative and I think it's actually a nice clone. It doesn't feel sharp, it doesn't feel funky, it doesn't feel shitty, other than that semen that came on it, it's a very nice scent profile. So for me, I'd give it a ball spray. It's got a nice little sea ash cloud. I don't know what the performance is gonna be like, but I got this joint on Amazon for 44 bucks. Not too bad. 
I actually don't mind this. I think it's one of the better ones that I've smelled recently as far as clones is concerned. So Amir Wild and Tobacco, pretty good alternative. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Any other Paris corner ones that are off the charts fire, let me know in the comments below. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, start tack when it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.